Hello and welcome back to the SJH Show with me, Samuel Higgins. And we're back on Game Dev Tycoon. I couldn't keep away. I love this so much. Um, so, let's jump straight back in at SJH Games. And let's do Castle Wars 3. Because it was a huge success, the series is. So let's develop Castle Wars 3. Castle Wars 3. So, it's medieval. And RPG. We're going to do RPG again. And the market share has dropped dramatically for PC. However, we've got quite a few fans. So, we're going to do Castle Wars 3 on PC. And 2D graphics, yep. So let's start Castle Wars 3. We want to focus a lot on the engine and a lot on gameplay and that should be enough. There we go, for each. Get thinking Sam, come on. Right, we've got a lot of research points so I think after this we should spend them. Right, dialogue. So we want a bit of dialogue. Level design is main focus and AI. Just a bit. There we go, that should be fine. There's a few bugs, four bugs. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. Right. I don't think we've got enough money to make a custom engine yet, so let's just leave that for now. All right, the world design, we want a lot of focus on world design, a lot of focus, and good graphics, and sound just a bit, there we go, that should be good. More. In industry report, recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for more mature age groups. Right. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Right, okay. So we've got the new research of target audience, so that should be good. I think Castle Wars is uh, not a young audience, it's quite a mature audience. So let's just get rid of these bugs. Get a few more technology points, and a few more design points. I think we're done. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumours circulating that the Vena, <laughs> that that's Sega, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Right. It's Castle Wars. We've got new records for design and technology, so that's good. Engine has leveled up, story and quest has leveled up, dialogues has leveled up, and sound has now leveled up. So everything is level two, so that's good. So let's release the game. What will the reviewers say? Well, let's find out. Oh, I'm seeing tens. Nine, one of the best from Star Games. Seven, nice experience from Informed Gamer. And a nine, can't wait for the sequel from Game Hero. And a nine, Medieval and RPG is a great combination from all games. That is brilliant. Castle Wars 3 looks like a huge success with the reviewers. This is a great, great gaming series. Look at the units sold. Whoa. We literally got to over 10k units sold in the first week. This is the most, the most units sold for any SJH Games game. 
So according to our market research, the recently published game Castle Wars 3 is a surprise hit with players. The developer SJH Games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Ah, oh, that is brilliant! Ah, oh, look! It's going up! More news, Vayner has confirmed recent rumours about a new gaming console and announced the Master V, the Master 5, and um, it's tech technically superior to the massive successful TES by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Right. Oh, I'm so glad Castle Wars 3, I can't, I can't speak. Castle Wars 3 did so well. Oh, look at it go, it's just, keep going. Oh, it's brilliant. I think it's coming to its end. Oh, we're still selling. There we go, it's now off the market and it sold over 33,000 units, generating over almost 236,000. That is brilliant. I'm so, I'm so glad about that, Castle Wars. We're going to do some research and I think we should research target audience. And we should get a new an, an engine soon. I think the Castle Wars series should be on hold again. We should pause it for a bit. A bit, right? So we've researched target audience. So and um, do a different game. So you can now specify what your main target audience is. Yep. Okay. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. Okay, right. Well, let's pick a topic. Let's do... Let's go into sports. We're going to go into a strategy sports game. And we're going to do it on the PC again and this is aimed at everyone oh back we need a name for it not game 5 right um, so this is a sports game um, Spotty Sports. Spotty Sports. <laughs> there we go. This is an educational game. We'll have 2D graphics. And not much engine. Not much story or quests. The news. Today, the new game platform Master V by Vayner has been released. Right. I don't really have plans to um, make a game for that. I'm waiting for the the 64. Nintendo 64. The Ninvento 64. Sorry. <laughs> Dialogues. Um, we don't want too much. That, that That's fine. So we've got one bug at the moment. World design, it's a sports game, so not too much world design. Sound, there we go, that should be fine. We only got one bug. More news, the recently released gaming console, um, Master 5, has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Right, okay. We'll just wait for a few more little bubbles to pop up. A bug there. Let's get that sorted. And we'll finish. So, spotty sports. It's not a new record on design or technology, but that's fine.
No new level ups, but we'll release the game. Right, uh, sorry about that, my um, microphone like broke out, it's on my camcorder so it like died, but anyway, <laughs> game review, the first reviews are in for Spotty Sports, oh I don't know if this is good, five, falls a bit short from Star Games, a six, their focus on level design served this game very well from informed gamer. 5 has its moments from Game Hero, and 6 quirky but good from all games. Alright, so it's not as good as Castle Wars, but it's there. We don't want to do too much Castle Wars, because we've done 3 already, so we don't want to focus too much on that. But we do, we do, we do seem to have, uh, oh, week 2 went well. Castle Wars people really like, so we will bring it back. But new research available for casual games. Okay. I think we should make our own custom engine. So, maybe we should uh, research a custom game engine. So we'll start that while this the units are still selling for Spotty Sports. Alright, so recent market data shows that the G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. So in an unofficial statement, an employee said that the company has been unsuccessful, unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. So the PC is coming back. Okay. Spotty Sports have done quite well, and we've got more fans, 430 fans, so that's good. You have successfully research custom game engine. Right, so now you can create your own game engines. Gamepad for new research, that's good. So let's make our own custom engine. It's 2D graphics. Mono sound, linear story, save game as well. There we go. And this should be the SJH um, Ice Block 1.0. There we go. The SJH Ice Block. Create engine. You are now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. Ah, oh. I I have a plan for Castle Wars, but we'll we'll make one of the game first, and then we'll do another Castle Wars. So Spotty Sports is now off the market and sold over twenty thousand units, and gener it generated quite a lot of profit. So that's good. That's really good. It takes quite a while to make this custom game engine. Alright. So what should the next game be? I think we might need to research... Um, oh, more news! Today, Ninvento has announced that it will be... that it will introduce a portable gaming device called GameLink. The device comes with chargeable game cartridges and a monochrome screen on a green background, built in speakers and even multiplayer support via connection cable. We have to, we, we have to get that, but there is a license fee, um, which is annoying, but we are going to make games on the Game Boy, it's pretty much. Alright, so compared to PCs and other game consoles, the game Ling is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The game Ling is said to hit shelves next month. Right, so let's prepare ourselves for that. We've almost got the SJH Ice Block 1.0. There we go! We've got 
Another achievement for investing in a new um, game engine. So the ice block 1.0 is complete. Yep, we will try it in our next game. So let's make that that. Let's research a new category. Uh, a new topic? What that called? No. Um, let's get racing. Start the research. Right, almost done, and then we'll make our next game. We still haven't, like, we still stay around the same amount of cash. So, hopefully the next Castle Wars will do well. So we've now got racing, and new research available for the steering wheel. But we won't get that. Right, develop a new game. We'll do, we'll do a racing game. And, um... It's going to be a simulation racing game, and it will be on the PC. And it will be using SJH Iceblock 1.0. So this is a racing game. Right, so... Crash, Crash Course, sounds like it should be a game out there already, it probably is, but um, yeah, SJH Games is going to produce Crash Course, and we're going to have better graphics for this, it's going to cost a lot, but let's do it, let's start the development for Crash Course, this could be another hit series. So today the new game platform Gameling by Ninvento has been released. Oh, I have a brilliant plan. Brilliant plan. I'm not going to reveal anything yet. But you'll see it in this episode, don't worry. Hopefully. <laughs> so, engine, we want to focus a lot on. Uh, there's not much story or quest in this. We want to be able to save the game. Uh, we don't really want a linear story, do we? Because... It's not really a story thing, is it? Okay, alright. Look at these bubbles go, right. Dialogues, not much. Level design, yep. And AI, yep, that should be fine. There we go. World design, we want a big world. We want it like... Bigger than the need for speed maps. <laughs> and sound, yep, that should be good. We want mono sound. We're, we're going all out for Crash Course here. Hopefully it's a good racing simulation game. I, I really hope so. Because it's become quite expensive. I think we might have hit um, some new... Um, records for the design and technology, but here's a report. With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Right, okay. So, new research, marketing. Okay. We'll have a look at that later. We'll just get these bubbles going anymore. And... We're done. Crash Course is complete. We've got a new record for design and technology, and we might level up on quite a few things. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I didn't know we were this far behind on the levels, but it's fine. Oh, that's good. Right, let's release Crash Course. New research for joysticks. All right. What do the reviewers say? Here we go. Huh? <gasps> 10, come on, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10! Racing and simulation is a great combination from Star Games. We got a 9. Their focus on gameplay served this game very well for informed gamer. 10! For outstanding achievement from Game Hero. 
and a nine great game from all games. You know what? I think Crash Course might be another SJH game series. Look at the unit! Whoa! Crash Course has achieved a company sales record with over 50k units sold. This is even better than um, Castle Wars. I can't believe it. Oh, this is brilliant. We've now achieved over 100k units sold. 100,000! This is brilliant. Look at the cash coming in. One million! You have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then move into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Yes, we have to. Oh, this is brilliant. Welcome to your new office. Oh, it says SJH Games on the wall. That is, this is just brilliant. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Right. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course which is required before you can hire your first employee. Okay. Yeah, okay, right. Let's just let's just see the, the amounts. The latest game by SJH Games has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10 saying racing and simulation is a great combination. If SJH Games continue to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favourite. Oh, look at our fans! Over almost 2,000 fans! This is brilliant. Oh, it's going back up. This is just brilliant. Crash Course is a hit. We've got to do it again. We've got to do Crash Course 2, of course. Vayner created the Master V console has announced the Vayner Gear, a portable console to di directly compete against the gaming from Nintendo. Okay. Spokesperson said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vayner Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. Right, and it has full colour. It will be out in two months. Well, we're developing a new game. And we're basing it at everyone. It's a racing game. Simulation game. But this time, we're going to go on the game lane. Because market share for the PC has dropped dramatically. So, we're going to go on the game lane. And we have to pay... 50,000 for a license, but that's fine. We'll do it on the SJH ice block. So, this is Crash Course Portable. Ah, oh, I can't put the E. Ah, oh, what could I call it? Crash Course... Ah... Oh. Ah, oh, no, what could I call it? I can't call it Portable. Crash Course... Um... Uh, crash course. Anyway, we've got an achievement. Writer's block. Naming something. <laughs> That's, I didn't know you could get an achievement for that. But crash course. Um, short? No. Stupid.
Crash Course Now. That's stupid as well. What's another one? Another one that starts with C. Crash Course. You know what? We're going to bring out Ca Crash Course 2 on the game link only. Don't know why, but I can't think of a name. So let's do it. It's going to be 2D graphics, start development. Engine, yep, yeah, that should be fine. Crash Course 1 is still selling. Oh, there we go. It's now off the market and sold 239,000 units. Over 1 million sales! Over one and a half. That is brilliant. Dialogues, we don't want too much. That's, that's perfect. And, well, does that... Yeah, that's fine. And we'll get rid of the bugs. Today, the new game platform Vayner Gear by Vayner has been released. Um, I'm not going to focus on that because we're we've got the game link from Ninvento, so that's fine. And we'll wait till a few more bubbles pop. We've got a bug there, and we'll finish. So Crash Course Two on the game link. New records for design and technology, so that's good. Level design is going to level up soon. 2D graphics has leveled up. So let's release the game and see what the reviewers say. It might not be as good as the first one, I don't know. Nice, nah, not going to be as good. Mm, it's a five. Ah. <sighs> Five again has its moments. A five fun at stages. A four should have focused more on technology. What? Ah, oh. see, Crash Course Two. Mm, it's not as good as the original on PC. The latest game has had reviewers scratching their heads. Rather than bringing a new innovative game to the market, they delivered another racing game which is more or less the same setting as their previous... Ah, oh, we should have messed around with the settings a bit more. One reviewer commented, I think Crash Course 2 was simply developed too soon after the previous game, with not enough innovations in technology and design. Right. Okay. We'll just wait to see how much units sold. It seems that the initial sales for Crash Course 2 has fallen way below expected numbers. Uh, it's not very popular. Oh dear. We've got 2.3 thousand fans. So that, at least that's good. G64 will be taken off the market. Doesn't bother me, never used it. <laughs> Right, Crash Course 2 was a flop. We're going to leave Crash Course. And we're not going to make another one for a while yet. I think it might be time to focus on some brand new stuff. And then maybe look back at Castle Wars. So, the, oh, the creator of the popular G64 has filed for bankruptcy. Oh dear. Well, they've shut down. Oh well. <laughs> right, Crash Course 2 is about to be taken off the market. There we go. Sold over 17,000 and a half. 17 and a half thousand, say it right. And... Yeah, it's not good. But anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. Um, 
Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Ca get, get, I can't speak. I was about to say Castle Wars, but we haven't played Castle Wars. We've played Game Dev Tycoon. I hope you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please give it a like, a favourite, share it with your friends. Please comment below whether you've enjoyed this or not. And I'll see you in the next episode of Game Dev Tycoon, where we're going to take a look at a brand new Castle Wars. We're going to focus on a new Castle Wars and some new, some new games for SJH Games. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!